Good morning, welcome to Ebony Night Every Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2015 15 plate Audi Q7 3 litre TDI V6 S line. This is the seven seater model finished off in a lovely metallic blue. So, first things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle and then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again but in greater detail. We do use these videos to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, so they're brutally honest and give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to it prior to sale. This is a incredibly low mileage and very, very high factory spec model Q7. Now we're back around to the beginning. We're going to start looking over the car, but in greater detail. So, near side front wing is in good condition. Near side front door, in good condition. Near side rear door, in good condition. And the near side rear quarter look good. Near side front alloy, really nice condition. And we've got a Pirelli P0 on approximately five millimeters of tread remaining. We replaced tires at the preparation stage of our cars in the workshop at 2.9 millimeters and below, as the German legal limit is three, opposed to the UK's 1.6. Near side rear alloy, good condition again. We've got another P0, but we're getting on for three or four millimeters of tread. So we'll be inspected in the workshop as will the rest of the, the tires and replaced if it's below three mil. Looking back down the near side of the car now, near side rear quarter looks good. Both near side doors look good. And the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle. So we'll check out the rear bumper to start with and lower plastics. All looks in really nice condition, along with the tail lights and tailgate. Rear screen with a factory privacy glass that wraps around the rear of the vehicle and along the roof lining. Good condition. Looking back down the off side of the car, doing the same as the near side, panel by panel. Off side rear quarter looks good. Off side rear door looks good. Off side front door looks good. And the off side front wing looks good. As we're moving around the off side, I have noticed some slight peeling just along here that will be professionally refinished prior to sale of the car. Offside rear alloy in really nice condition. Offside rear tyre is a Firestone with a good five or six millimetres of tread remaining. Moving down the offside of the vehicle to the offside front alloy, which again is in really nice condition. We've got a Pirelli on approximately three or four millimetres of tread remaining. Looking back down the offside of the vehicle now, one final look over the bodywork. Offside front wing looks in good condition. Just got oh, there's a little bit of cobweb there flowing onto the blowing onto the car. Offside front door looks in good condition. Offside rear door. Offside rear door actually does have one very small pin dent right at the bottom of the door uh, that will be removed by our dent doctor prior to sale of the car. And the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now. So we're checking out all lights and grills and the condition of the front bumper itself. As you can see, lights and grills are in really good condition. And the front bumper itself looks good. We've got a couple of age related touch ups that are only minor that will be polished up and touched in before collection of the uh, sold car. Looking over the condition of the bonnet now, the bonnet itself Looks in really nice condition. Only very minor, very small touch-ups to be done prior to sale of the car along the front. And when I say very minor, I mean there are barely any. The condition of the bonnet is really good for the age of this car. Now we're gonna check out the condition of the front screen. Nothing to note, that's just some dust from Valet, I believe. Nothing to note whatsoever on this screen. Got a couple of surface marks right in the middle, but I uh, can't see anything. Can't see anything at all. Screen looks in good condition. Moving around the rear of the vehicle. We're gonna check out the boot space. As I said before, it is the seven seater model. So you've got this boot space. Just gonna zoom out to make it a little bit clearer. Parcel shelf is included instead of the car. Uh, can be removed for the rear passengers to sit at the very rear seats. 
full leather throughout. These seats do fold down. These mats, if they're for this vehicle and fit, is a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our cars. But nice sizeable boot, we've got the power tailgate to complete that as well. Now we're going to start taking a look through the interior itself. Door cards in nice condition with the upgraded bow speakers throughout. Tinted rear windows, double glazed windows as well. I'm going to show you that when we get back to the front. Full black leather interior. Just going to pop this seat forward to show the uh, rearmost seats in good condition, as well as the rear seats. So we've got three factory headrests, three three point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Just going to have a look again just to see. Uh, I don't believe those rearmost seats have ice fix fittings. As you can see, we've got the twin pan roof and the front one is slide and tilt tvs in the rear that do work uh, powered through the seat itself got the fold out trays in the rear carpets are in good condition back to the front seats in good condition and we have four-way climate in this vehicle as well with rear heated seats as well as front now moving around into the front of the car as you can see door cards are in really nice condition bose upgraded speakers again Full electronic windows, electronic child control, lock control, should I say. Uh, we've got fully adjustable electronic heated and power folding side mirrors. And we've got electronic memory front seats. And that is not only the drivers, but the passengers as well, which is quite rare. As you can see, the full black S-line leather, really good condition. Bolsters are still firm, holding their shape. No rips, no tears, no traces of any odours, no cigarette burns, anything like that. As you can see, dash is in really good condition. No signs of any plastic repairs or dash repairs at all. Just gonna shut the door behind me. Automatic lights and wipers in this vehicle. Cruise control on the stalk underneath the indicators. Moving up the center console, we've got the MMI controls in the center. And we're just gonna run you through some of those now. Automatic transmission. As I said before, we've got dual climate in the front, but it is a four-way climate vehicle. Front heated seats and rear. DAB radio, Bluetooth, and a few other options stated. Let me just show you. There's your sources there. We've got quite a few, including Bluetooth and Bluetooth telephone connectivity, satellite navigation, and we've got reversing camera and full parking sensors. Sorry, I've already been over auto lights. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I've missed. Obviously, we've got all the roof controls here. I'll show you the operation of that now, actually. So we've got the electric slide that does come all the way across to the front. I've just stopped it because I'm going to show you the slide and tilt roof operation. Really nice feature. Right, and we are finished off with this leather bound multi-function steering wheel with flappy paddles and this vehicle is on 65,163 miles so really really low miles for one of those three litre uh, uh, audi v6s now if you have any questions on any of our cars or would like to book a viewing please give us a call on 01724 876 555 thank you very much for watching